here with a video all about a couple of underrated books that I really love and think that you guys should definitely check out if you get the chance. If you've been on this channel for a while, you've probably realized that I read a lot of unpopular books that nobody has ever heard of. I just find that with the really hyped books, I don't end up enjoying them as much as everybody else because they're just so overhyped. So I thought to curve that, I would recommend you guys a couple of the underrated books that I absolutely love on my shelves. So without further ado, let us get started! So the first two books should not come to any surprise if you've been on my channel since like the very beginning. They are Vinyl and Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. These are the two first books of the Vinyl trilogy. The third book, Siren, is actually coming out on May 1st, 2018, so definitely, definitely go check it out. These are my favorite books in the world. Like, I'm obsessed with them. The best way I could probably describe the trilogy is that it's a gritty steampunk dystopian series all about using music as a weapon. If you guys are into a diverse cast and also just like a total badass story, I would highly recommend these because a lot of people have not read them and I just think that they really 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 should. The next book may not come to a surprise to a couple of you if you've been here since the very beginning and it is Daddy by PJ Ferguson. I love this book. I'm pretty sure nobody I know has ever read this book but I used to praise it on my channel like every Every single video I was obsessed with it. It follows a man named Joe Williams who has to turn to the legal system and a jury of 12 people in order to find justice for his family after something very sinister occurs and it's just so good. I think it's so underrated. I've never heard anybody talk about it on booktube. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who's ever brought it up but I used to praise this on my channel like religiously every video. I love it so much. I think it's so good and also PJ is just one of the nicest authors in the entire world that I've ever interacted with. The next book recently came out so a couple of you might have actually have read this one but ever since I've read it I've been praising it. I love it so much but it is Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. This is her new suspense mystery novel. It follows a boy named Noah Marshall whose mother reveals a secret that she's been keeping for a very long time which involves one of his childhood friends named Gracie. Gracie's father was labeled a corrupt cop and then killed one day on the job and it's basically the story of how that intertwines with Noah's life. I have a full review if you're interested in like my full thoughts on this but I am obsessed with it. I highly recommend it. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have read this because it's such a new release and I just don't know a lot of people who read suspense books on booktube other than a couple of people and I haven't heard them talk about it so I may be wrong but definitely think that this is underhyped. The next book I have to talk about is a one that I've actually talked about in my fairy tale retelling video so if you guys want to check that out totally go for it. There's a lot of underrated books in that one as well but it is Dust City by Robert Paul Weston. This is a big bad wolf retelling which I have not seen any other Big Bad Wolf retellings, so I think that it's a cool take on the story. It follows Henry, who is actually the son of the Big Bad Wolf, but still a Big Bad Wolf retelling. It also involves a lot of other fairy tale stories in it, kind of just thrown in there, like the Rumpelstiltskins in here. Definitely recommend checking it out because it was very fun. To read. The next book I have I talked about in my thriller recommendation video. Another video with a lot of underrated titles if you want to check that out as well, but it is Mason by Thomas Pendleton. The book follows Mason who has been deemed slow by his peers and his teachers until one day he discovers that he actually has these powers, which I'm not going to tell you guys what the powers are, but supernatural things start occurring. Mason is constantly tormented by his psychopathic brother named Jean who he lives with. Then one day Renee, one of Mason's only friends, sees Jean do something that she wasn't supposed to see and things take a turn and Mason decides that he's going to get his revenge. I just personally think it is such a good horror story. If you guys are into the horror genre, I would definitely recommend this. It's a little bit gruesome at times, but definitely 
think that it is worth the read. I really enjoyed reading it and I have a very weak stomach so I can't deal with the gruesome stuff but the fact that I could handle it a lot of you probably can too. I also think that this would be really cool turned into a movie. The next book I have I read quite a while back but I remember really really enjoying it. It is Monstrous Beauty and it's by Elizabeth Fama and the cool thing about this book is that it's about mermaids but they're not like the Disney version of mermaids where they're like super sweet lovable. No they are killer mermaids and I I just had so much fun reading this. I highly recommend checking it out. Mermaids eating people? Yes, please. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Alright guys, so that was a couple of my favorite underrated books. I have talked about these on my channel before, but not recently other than vinyl, which I talk about all the time. So I figured I would bring them back and bring awareness to them and hopefully you guys will check them out because I highly recommend them. I think they're totally worth the read. So let me know down below a couple of your favorite underrated books that I could possibly check out and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>